hi guys in this video I'll be showing you how to add my website to Google search engine Google search engine can also be called Google search console or the Google webmaster tools now why would you need to add your website to a Google search console you find out that when you add your website to a Google search console you have what is called Google Analytics where your site is analyzed directly by Google to show you areas that you can improve on so that Google can bring your site to a lot of people when they search for content relating to the content you have on your blog or your uh, WordPress website. So first, how do we start in doing this? The first thing I'm going to do is to show you the website we are going to be adding to the Google search engine or Google search console or Google webmaster tool so when I interchange between this is the same thing if I say Google search engine or Google search console or Google web Google webmaster tools is all the same thing just to let you know so let's go ahead and start now this is a website I want to add to my Google uh, Webmaster tool or Google Search Console. You need to open that website because you need to copy the link right up there to be able to add it to the Google Console. Now if you want to know how to open this site, if you are a real life distributor and you want to open your own blog or website, I have the link directly below this video showing you step by step how to set up this kind of website or this kind of um, WordPress blog or WordPress website. So if you want to do this, you can quickly watch those videos. I think there are two videos on how I set this up so that you can go ahead and uh, follow me on how to actually add your site to Google Webmaster or Google Console. So now let's go to the uh, Google Console uh, URL and then let's see how we can add this website to it. So once you get to Google and you type in Google Search, you just see it here, Google Search Console, and then you just click on it. It takes you here and then we'll just click on it. And it will take us to Google Search Console and then just click on Start Now. takes me to my own search console but uh, I did not use this Gmail to open that uh, uh, WordPress website so I have to switch to the email that I used but for you it will take you directly to something like this and once you get here you just get to search property and then you click on add property it opens up this place for you and what you are going to do we are going to copy our domain and we are going to put it right here on this side so go quickly go to my that is the site just go up there and copy the domain name and then come back and we are going to put it right here like so then we are going to click on continue So once you have verified that your website is actually there, now it's going to show you different ways of verification. These are different methods you can use to you know, verify this ownership and also add this, your website, your WordPress website to the Google Search Console. Now, you can use an what we call HTML tag. You add this tag to your home page. You can connect it to a Google Analytics. I cannot use this because I'm not I'm yet to connect this particular website to Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager. But for this one, we are going to use this one. We are going to add a meta tag to our site home page. So what you have to do, you just come here, click on the drop down, and see what they said. You copy this meta tag and paste it into your what your site's home page you should go at the head section before the first body section 
So what we'll do, we are going to copy this and then we'll go back to our uh, WordPress site and I'm going to show you the simplest way to add this to your WordPress site. So we'll go ahead and copy it. It has been copied. So now let's go back to our WordPress. This is the WordPress site. Now let's go to our dashboard. That is the back office of our, of our WordPress site. And I'm going to, we are going to put in a plugin that will make it very easy for us to paste that HTML code. Please don't be confused about anything. It's I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. You can watch this video several times to be able to follow it up. Because this thing is very important so that your site will be crawled by Google very well. And then you can always see where to improve your site, as I've said earlier. So we'll now go to plugins. we we'll go to add new. And here you put in header and footer and click on search. Once you click on search, this comes out. Insert headers and footers for by WP Beginner. Then just click on install. And then click on activate. Once it has been activated, you just come down here to settings. Once you click on settings, you see it right here. Insert headers and footers. And then you click on it. Once you click on it, is what comes out. Now, remember what we saw on our Google console. It's telling you to carry this thing. You copy it and then place it at the head section. Look at where they want you to place it. So you take it back to your WordPress website, scripts on the header. This is the head section. So you just come here and you paste it. Now, once you've pasted it, you scroll down and you save. That is all there is to it. Once you've completely saved it, you go back again to your Google Search Console and then you click on Verify. So it's going to check whether you've done it. Sorry, I clicked the wrong one. This is not what we did. So you have to scroll down. This is what we did. So you have to click here, Verify. So you see that the ownership has been verified. Then you go to property. So welcome to search console. So you can now start to learn all about search console if you want. But the most important thing is that you have added your site to Google search console. So that is how simple it is. So once you've done that, you've put your website, submitted your website to Google Search Console, it takes about a day or two for you to start seeing your analytics. That is people that have clicked on your website, the kind of blog posts people are reading and all that. Let me show you an example of what that looks like using my other um, videos or other Google Search Console. So this is what it looks like. This is one of my websites, my fashion website. To tell you the total clicks of people that click straight to your site. It will tell you impressions, you know, on your site. And then it also shows you the particular um, queries people are using to go to your site. As you can see, this particular query, cutting tools and sewing, is what a lot of people came to my site through this kind of query in Google and see the impressions I have. That means that I need to create things more around this kind of topic. That's what people are really interested in. So that is what um, Google Search Console really tells you. Tells it gives you a lot of information about your site and then tells you how to improve it and the kind of things that your customers are actually looking for. It also tells you the countries from where people are really you know, clicking on your sites. You can search the countries here. Look at the countries that people are really clicking on my site. It can tell you the devices people are using to click on your site. 
mobile phone desktop tablets you find out you know like me it's mobile that means i have to ensure that this my website is really mobile friendly because a lot of people are clicking using their mobile phones there are a lot of things you can do with it just for me to just tell you why you should ensure that your website where wordpress website is submitted to google search council this has brought me to the end of this video i don't want it to be too long so i hope you'll be able to submit your website to google search console